Thanks so much for your time on Tennis.com. I want to start by asking you, what drives and motivates you the most? Well, it's just that tennis brings me a lot of emotions and uh, that gives uh, a lot of sense to what I do because I can share these uh, amazing moments with uh, people I love so much. So, and uh, I give uh, a lot of smiles and a lot of love, I think. And, uh, and when people are coming to me and say, well, uh, we spend uh, a very good week because we watch you play, I think that gives uh, a sense to what I do. Just in you, what is the greater aspect? Your opponent facing an opponent, or in one sense, you're playing against yourself as well, aren't you? <laughs> it's probably the toughest part is playing against myself, but it, it's true, it's, it's a fight against the opponent with uh, a lot of respect for sure, but it's uh, always a question of um, your spirit and your, your mind that day, and I think it's, it's not that easy. You never know how you're going to wake up, how you're going to feel, and uh, if you're going to have a lot of energy, so you need to be at your best all the time, and, uh, and the other in, in front of you, she wants the same thing, and you have to deal with that, so it's, it's like a big fight, and that's uh, never easy. What's it like to be number one in the world? Not <laughs> that's, too many people get no, the chance. It's a great feeling. It's just uh, to become the mo number one player in the world was a, a dream that came true. And then to maintain my level and to stay the number one player in the world was more than that because it's hard. You realize how difficult are the sacrifices and there's a lot of hard work. So to maintain your level and stay there, it's, uh, it's probably the most difficult part of, uh, of my career. So does it give you extra pressure? Or does it give you extra pressure? <laughs> it gives a little bit of everything. Uh, I have a lot of joy being at the num being number one player in the world. It brings a lot of motivation. Uh, it's a pressure because everyone expects that you uh, play well and you win all the time. And in another way, it's motivation because they all want to beat me. So it's uh, it's a good challenge for me. Do, do, do you appreciate it more being number one now than maybe a couple of years ago? Probably because now I realize uh, it's pretty hard to stay there for uh, a few years it's, it's not that easy and uh, you need to work hard every day, do a lot of sacrifices and to little details make a big difference and uh, I understood that and uh, and I try to work on it every day. You know what I'm noticing over the last eight or so months uh, I, I hear people saying it's a different just the end that's <laughs> out there. Do you feel that? I feel I grew up a lot I feel like uh, I took many positive things from uh, all my experiences and uh, I'm just myself and uh, my family back in my life it helps me to be the real Justine and uh, there's less distance now I think uh, between me and the fans and uh, and that's great because they know me probably a little better now and that's a good feeling. There's more laughing, smiling, joking around, don't you think? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I enjoy my life. I think life is short and uh, we must enjoy every moment of it, every minute of it and uh, that's what I did last year and uh, enjoy my tennis so much, love being here so it's good. How much I think you can put this down to quote unquote finding your family again. Well, I think um, it's now the situation is like it should be. I have my family back in my life and uh, and that's the best I can dream of. Uh, I spent Christmas with them first time in eight years so it was quite uh, emotional and uh, love has been uh, stronger than, than the fights so it's been good. What did you get for Christmas? I uh, got a lot of things but uh, the best thing was that I could be with them and just um, yeah just make trees and uh, to the new year with them was just the best I could dream of. Last question, if I said for the next two weeks, put, it up, put aside the tennis racket, mm -hmm. no training, no work or anything, what would you do? <laughs> well, I, I don't know, I would... Um I would spend my whole time with the people I love, for sure, and uh, because my life is a lot of sacrifices. I travel a lot. I'm not home at all, and almost never, and I would just um, live normally for two weeks. Go do my shopping, go to the movies, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the people I love, and uh, just be like anyone else. Just a normal person. Just a normal person. Just, yeah, thank you.